got a Fanatics View exclusive with Greg Zahn, 16 year MLB veteran, World Series champ in 97 with the Florida Marlins. Fanatics View exclusive starts now. Yeah. Kings don't die, they relocate to a bigger city, to a bigger state. So looking for me, then you'll find me in Texas with a big old ass and big necklace where they only do a John big Gale, the Fanatics View, I'm with Greg Zahn, 16-year MLB World Series champion. He got it with Florida Marlins in 1997. How you doing today? Doing well. We're looking forward to a great day of golf. The weather is unbelievable and everybody looks like they're uh, ready to go. Fourth annual Zahn Charity Golf uh, Tournament. Talk about uh, helping charity and what it means to you, being a Glendale, California boy and uh, now being in Toronto, pretty much what it means to you to help out. Well, the fans here in Toronto, the country of Canada, just always so supportive of me, uh, my opportunity to give back. Um, love to do you know fun stuff and you know everybody here is uh, of, of a charitable mind so we get, come out and do some amazing things for uh, for the wounded warriors uh, Canada uh, come from a military background and honestly it's 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 my pleasure to to uh, do whatever I can for these these heroes that have, that have come back and uh, you know basically paid the price of freedom for all of us all right Zani so I think you got thick skin. You're a tough guy. I mean, you're you're known for that being the, uh, one of the tougher catchers in the major leagues. Yeah. Uh, talk about how a guy like Jimmy Leland in that '97 World Series team shaped you. Well, you know, I was the whipping boy. Uh, he basically used me uh, whenever he needed to make a point. He would single me out and 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 use me as an example. He also taught me a lot about uh, you know my place in the game. Where you know where. You know certain guys on the roster where their pecking order is, and, and I always remembered, uh, you know, feeling picked on at the point. But then when I got a little bit older, and I realized, hey, he's trying to teach me something here, and it, these were lessons that were served well. I mean, it doesn't matter what business you're in, what sport you play. Uh, there's there's a hierarchy, there's a pecking order, there's some respect that needs to be paid to the to the senior members and and uh, the people that come before you. And uh, I think a lot of it's being lost on today's generation. One of the one of the finest lessons that I've ever learned, uh, you know, w w were those tough tough love lessons from Jim Leland. Some of that those tough uh, lessons that you got from Jimmy was that. Did that help you get the starting job in Toronto, would you say? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I wasn't ready to be a starting catcher mentally, maturity-wise, when I was in, in Florida. I got a little mini uh, shot at it, but uh, I wasn't mature enough to handle it. I wasn't ready. Uh, when I finally came around again, which was a blessing and a gift, I never thought it would, uh, I was ready to run with it. And, uh, you know, I... I had thick skin. The, the game didn't bother me. Uh, I, I was able to, to, to put you know a bad 0 for 4 behind me and, and, and move on next day. Uh, to the next day, play the game, even even move on to the next defensive set of outs. Uh, and those are all lessons that that, that, that don't come cheaply. It's, they're painful and, and they need to be learned. And, and I was fortunate enough to to be uh, you know mentored by a, you know a guy who was willing to, to put in the time to tough love you. You talked about uh, some of the young players today. I know there's phenoms that are just coming up, and it seems like they're they're making that seamless transition. But uh, I think those guys are maybe one in ten or one in twenty, right? Uh, we're seeing the other side of it sometimes in Toronto with guys that get called up, getting sent down right away. Well, they, you know, they just don't uh, they don't season them enough in the minor leagues. They, those kids need to learn the lessons. I mean, and, you know, if you're in the big leagues at age 19, 20, 21, uh, that's special. That's one of the once in a generation type stuff. Uh, the reason why it doesn't happen often is because the kids aren't ready. Uh, the ones that are transitioning seamlessly, the, you know, the, the so-called you know, the Bryce Harper, Scott Peterson's, because the, 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 it's because they're being allowed to. Uh, the teams have an infinite amount of patience with the behavior, uh, with the maturity level. Uh, the only reason why they're being allowed to do so is because the game's changed. It's it's about it's about youth. It's a youth movement. Uh, it's not about the quality of the game or the polish of the player. It's it's. Who's going to help us? You know, drive Twitter, drive drive social media, and sell it's, tickets. It's a player by player basis too, right? I mean, like you said, those guys come in there once in a generation. You got other guys; they might need that seasoning, right? And yeah, maybe there, there are no. There's nobody in the game today like a like a Rod was at 19 or Ken Griffey Jr. These are guys that had it all. They had the, the physical ability and and the mental capacity to handle being a big leaguer at, at that age. The kids that are that are that are coming up these, these days that are that are doing it, they're not ready uh, physically, maybe, but mentally, no. Uh, and the only reason why they're being allowed to is because the team team wants it that way. Ventura calling Jose Bautista a nobody led uh, Greg to write a letter to Mr. Ventura. Is that true? Yes, yes. A and I read. 
Dear Giordano Ventura, are you seriously running your mouth? You don't even have three years of uninterrupted service time. Yeah, I've always wanted to ask you this, uh, being a big Jays fan like many are in Toronto, if you could put your stamp on this team, you're the manager, you're the general manager, what are you changing? Changing everything, the culture, the, the, everything. Um, they don't, they're not teaching the game, um, in my opinion, at, at, at the lower levels. These kids are, 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 are missing the garden variety baseball 101 skills the, that polishes a player. They're in such a hurry to get kids to the big leagues. Uh, they have any kind of success at the minor league level, and and they're, and they're, and they're yeah. And the reason why they're having that success is because they're better athletes than than 90 percent of the kids at that level. Um, it doesn't work. The, the kids don't last, and they're doing them a huge injustice by rushing them to the shell. The hierarchy, growing pains. That's something that you would try and instill in these kids. Absolutely, they got to earn their way out at every level. I, for me, uh, you're gonna play. You're gonna play, especially a pitcher. You're gonna play a full season at every level, and you're, you're gonna earn your way. I don't care. You know, I, I, I want you to fail at the minor league level. I want you to go through slumps. I want you to be able to. It doesn't to come easy, right? No, no. You got to. You got to. You got to learn these lessons uh, at the minor league level. It shouldn't. These are. These shouldn't be first time occurrences when you get to the show. Okay. Uh, just to finish off, uh, the best stuff you, you've caught. And uh, maybe the best winner you cut. Uh, well, be best stuff had to be Kevin Brown, 1997-1998 era. Um, uh, biggest, biggest warrior, biggest heart, uh, guy that I would want on the mound. Seven, game seven of the World Series, uh, Levon Hernandez. Wow, Levon, the Cuban sensation. Zani, you're dropping out like that. Thank you so much for doing this, man, and hope to do it some more. I want to be back here, so thank you again. You got it, dude. Yeah. Anytime.